So for generations in the mind of America, the Negro has been more of a formula than a human being. The new Negro then is, is an attempt to break free from the stranglehold of assumptions about black people that justify a society organized along the lines of what I've called the value gap. That is, that white people ought to be valued more than other, uh, others. As Locke put it, quote, the Negro today wishes to be known for what he is and even in his faults and shortcomings and scorns a craven and precarious survival at the price of seeming to be what he is not. All of this requires that we work even harder for a better world, for a more robust and vibrant democratic form of life, that we put aside the old fears and terrors and the histories that justify them in order to finally, finally bury that old Negro and the white folks who need him. <laughs>